Hey, got a little behind on these episodes. But here goes episode three. Just got one more after this, and I'm all set. Let's cue the music. Okay, now this review is about the third episode of DuckTales, and it's called The Great Dime Chase. It mainly focuses on Dewey, Louie, Webby, and Scrooge. And it's more focused so, despite, you know, Webby and Dewey being in there, it does carry on more with Louie and also Scrooge with their relationship. But mainly because, in the very beginning, how this episode opens up, <laughs> Louie is so damn lazy. It's not even funny. God damn. Dude doesn't even want to turn TV off. His phone freaking dies, so he, he wants a new phone already now because it died. Um, for some reason, he he's too lazy to reach for a remote, can't turn a channel. Only likes guy has a bunch of soda cans, and he only likes to do one sip with each one of them. All of them are still full. He only likes the first sip. God damn! And Scrooge just had enough of that crap. Any big plans for today? <sighs> Thought I'd move to the big TV in a few hours, you know. Hey, do we have any more pep? You've got six full cans right here. Never mind, I'll call Beakley. Oh man, my phone's dead. Guess I gotta buy a new one. Just charge it! Who cares? We're rich! No, I... And that's what leads Scrooge to take him to his company, where, you know, he meets the board of directors again, but we'll get to that in a, bit, a little bit. Because then that brings along Dewey and Webby, because they claim that they want to go, you know, see and everything, go do the same thing that Louie's going to go through. But... In actuality, we focus more on Dewey, bringing back from the pr premiere episode, if you guys haven't seen that yet. At the end of the premiere episode, you see that um, in the picture at the end of the episode, that when Dewey goes to it, he pushes it up and then he see their mom in it, so you know he wants to find more about his mom. So he goes to some books and then Webby finds him doing it, and she knows nothing about his mom either, who I believe they said her name was Della Duck. So if, hey, we finally got a name, that's cool. Louie and Scrooge, as they're talking to the board of directors, they're telling Scrooge that he's wasting money on a bunch of nonsense and he doesn't take a liking that just for some comic humor. But also one of the things that they do mention, which I like the reference because many people that do know Scrooge McDuck, he loves to jump and swim into his pit of gold or golden coins. And it's funny when Louis attempts to do it, Scrooge stops him. He's like, dude, calm down. You could, are you like, are you crazy? You could break your damn neck from that and like fracture your skull. Of your head, you'll crack your skull open. But you swim in money all the time. Yes, but I worked hard to perfect that skill. Building muscles and dexterity. If you want something, you work hard to get it. And Dewey and Webby, as they, when they come along with Scrooge and Louie for the trip, uh, they claim to, you know, need to use the bathroom, you know, both at the same time, I don't know why they seem weird to him. But anyways, I mean, it'd be interesting they did a little relationship with Dewey and Webby. I could definitely see that being a thing, that'll definitely be great. But Dewey and Webby, they go and they meet this librarian lady. I forgot. I don't think they, I don't really call them saying her name. I didn't remember it, but I'm just going to call her the librarian. And she, you know, she tells Webby, because apparently Webby's been here before, tell her that, you know, she can't come in archives. And it's, but it's not closed off to any member of Scrooge, which is Dewey. And when they go through, she put them to a couple few trials. But this is like just a side plot. It kind of sums up fast, really. The only reason it takes a long to sum it up only because most of it's focused around Louie and Scrooge's relationship. But when Dewey and Webby go through the different trials, honestly, Dewey just sees it as a waste of time. And it comes off as a waste of time. But until like, the librarian tries to attack them at one point as their final trial with a sword. But then they find out that after getting through that whole situation, they give, they're give they given a book. They get a book that says they'll duck in it and everything. But when Dewey opens it up, there's nothing there. It's only blank pages. No writings, no nothing. Until he keeps flipping, then there's one page with a code number, and then there's also to with a with a code number. And then one of the previous trials that they did, Webby notices that there are numbers on them with decimals and everything. And Webby then finds out more about Della Duck once they put in the code, and then they have to go through put de reorganizing the books. Basically, it seems like they're doing librarians' work for her, but it does lead them to finding the answers that they want. It does lead to more thoughts and conspiracies. Because then it 
releases or opens up technically a secret door and once they go in there they see different type of trophies such as similar to when in the premiere episode with Scrooge and all his things from his adventures you see a message left from her that says sorry Uncle Scrooge I took the spear of Selene sorry and that leads to more conspiracy and even Webby saying is it possible that your mom might have betrayed Uncle Scrooge and then that's the whole that we get of that that leads to more questions in later episodes and then Continuing with Scrooge and Louie, we meet uh, another iconic character from the DuckTales original series. I mean, I don't remember if he was this arrogant much of an asshole like this. We feel <laughs> Shut up, everyone. I've done something brilliant. Ah, Gyro. Gyro Gearless, my head of research and development. I'm sorry, but we... Apology accepted. Now try to keep up with my mind-numbing genius. Basically, and turns out that all his inventions really seems to turn on human beings. Yeah, he has this one little light bulb that's supposed to do everything for you. And that would catch his Louis' attention. The tiny, all-purpose robot that does it all. Wait, what does it do? It all. Lil Bulb is an artificially intelligent personal robot helper. He can make toast, find your keys, serve as a book light for your late night reading. You'll never have to do anything yourself again. <gasps> mm-hmm. And how will you ensure this one won't achieve sentience and turn evil like all the others? Only half my inventions turn evil. The other half are just wildly misunderstood. And it leads to eventually Louis using that bowl to get him a soda. He realizes he ends up using a, a dime, and it turns out that was Scrooge's first dime. The dime that inspired him to come here to America and to become a successful duck that he is today. I was a young shoe shine in Glasgow when a man came in. His boots cemented in mud. I worked and worked until those boots sparkled. In return, he gave me an American dime. That dime inspired me to move to America and find my fortune. So then Dewey, so Louis has to now go and get it back. But then he realized that there's a truckload. There's a bunch of dimes everywhere. Non-stop dimes. There are a bunch of times everywhere he doesn't know which 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 he has to go through a couple steps 24 steps he couldn't even get through one and then he gets to the point to where the bulb does turn on he would turn on them as well and he gets into a giant mech looking robot somewhat and then they have to stop that robot as well as trying to get the dime that's now in there with a the pit of golden uh money with a pit of golden coins and then just all escalates to a certain point to where now to where they have to fight the robot Jairo was able to get the rope Jairo was able to get the bulb off the robot. And after all of that and everything settled and everybody and all the plots are sealed, now you come to the part where, you know, Louis somewhat, yeah, I guess you could say, finally learns a lesson in a way, you know, all the episode was supposed to like help him grow basically as a character. And then there's the episode ends where it shows Gyro and he apparently has an idea to it's weird how he was talking on about it. Basically, it sounds like he wants to make himself a robot or make a robot suit for him. Any other movies, shows, animes, or any sort that you guys want me to talk about, just comment below how you feel about the video. If you like, hate it, I don't care. Whichever one, comment below. Don't fail to ring that bell. And like if you dare, subscribe if you care. Thank you. I'm like a star. I'm out fast. I try to shine. But it's never gonna last.